can't believe it. There's stuff down there. So I am back out here today at this abandoned house site. And I'm getting ready to lower my magnet into the well to see what treasures we can find. Let's get right to this. I was out here the other day doing some exploring and metal detecting. Didn't really find a whole lot, but this well has really intrigued me. So let's see what's below. Woo, dark down there. We have the magnet ready to go. I'm excited to put it down the well to see what's in there. Never know, we might find a firearm, pocket knife, maybe even a cannonball. Get the rope unraveled here. And we're gonna tie it to this tree so I don't drop the magnet in the well. That may have happened a time or two. So we'll just wrap it around here. Magnet is secure. I think I've stirred up a yellow jacket nest right behind the camera. I don't know if you can see, we got some bees swarming around. So there is a nest somewhere nearby and I don't want to get stung as we're trying to magnet fish. I'm going to be using a really strong magnet today, 3,800 pound pulling force. So this ought to have enough power to pick up some treasure. Y'all ready? Here we go. Lower the magnet down into the well. I should have had my flashlight shining in there so you can see it a little bit better, but it's okay. It will be a surprise what we pull up. There's definitely water still in the well, so it was used not too long ago. Man, I'd say I'm already down probably 25, 30 feet. Still going. Woo! Hit the bottom. It is filled with water and that's a good thing because usually these wells are bone dry and uh, all this stuff is covered up in silt so it's actually pretty cool it's filled with water this magnet feels really heavy pulling it this far away from it all right we're gonna bob it around a few times in the water y'all hear that let's shine the light in there for a better view Hello! Nobody's down there. That's good. All right. Pulling the magnet up. I'm excited. We might actually have something this throw. Feels pretty heavy, but might just be the magnet because the magnet weighs about a couple pounds. Oh, wow. That looks disgusting. <laughs> All kinds of stuff on there. Woo! Stinks too. We have a shotgun shell that has a steel base on it. All right, we'll throw that aside. All kinds of iron debris, y'all. That's crazy. Check that out. All kinds of iron stuff on there. Just flakes of rust. Lots of rust flakes. So we're going to have to get that off. But there could be something good in there. It just rusted away and this is what's left. Woo, man, that stinks. It smells like sewer. Got the magnet clean, cleaner. Now we're gonna throw it back down. Let's just drop it in there. Wow, there's something in the bottom. That thing hit hard. Wow, it's not like it broke something. Probably bottles and coins all in here. We just can't get them because they're not magnetic. They're silver and gold. See what we got on this round. I figured y'all would enjoy this. Everybody loves magnet fishing, especially when it's down a whale. Oh my goodness! We have something! Woohoo! We got all kinds of stuff. Man, we actually found stuff in the well. We have that is off of a bucket. So what we found earlier was a bucket that deteriorated. So we have a bucket handle. Man, that's what's left of the bucket right there. So another piece off the bucket. And then a bunch of rusty flakes where it deteriorated. So, wow. Somebody threw their pail down to get some water and it never came back up. And here's a flag. So. Collecting the metal. 
I'm actually surprised. I didn't think there'd be much in this well, but turned out to be pretty good. All right, let's lower this back down there and see what else we can get. I see, I see something, something in there. I don't know what that is. It's like a plastic bottle. Yep. Something plastic. Wow. Lots of water in there. Yeah, that's a plastic bottle, y'all. It's a water bottle. I see it. And the label's still on it. There's at least a foot or so of water in there. It's a contaminated well, pretty much. Here, let me turn the light off. There we go. Well, I have to come back and lower my camera down in here to see what's at the bottom. Third time is a charm. Let's see what we have. Come on, be a gun. Woo! Got more iron rusty stuff. We'll throw it over here in the collection. More of that bucket, I'd imagine. Wow. I wouldn't drink out of this well, though. This is a lot of fun, y'all. If you haven't tried magnet fishing yet and you'd like to get a magnet, click the link in the description below. I've added the one I'm using in this video here. It's filled with mud on the bottom. Threw it down a couple more times and the magnet's pretty much clean, so we got everything out of there. There is something down there I keep hitting. It's hard plastic or something. If y'all are trying to hide something, don't go throwing it in a well or the river off the bridge because I will find it. Whether it's scuba diving or magnet fishing, I'll search for it. <laughs> we cleaned out this well. Let's, Let's move on to the next one. If there's anything else down there, like I said, it's going to be a gold bar. We can't pick it up with this. I really hope y'all enjoyed that quick magnet fishing session. Here's what we ended up with. A really old handle, actually, off of a bucket or wooden pail. So that's pretty cool. And I got a little ring probably off a wooden pail or bucket as well. So that's pretty much everything that was down there, plus a shotgun shell. Oh, where did it go? Here it is shotgun shell I found in there. This place right here was built around 1900 and it's gonna be destroyed soon. It's always fun to get out and see if we can save some history before it's gone forever. Say goodbye. I'm gonna put a log or something on top of that. This here is part of the original, I think, well house. You can see it was standing up or maybe it was a power pole that got cut down, but this old board was here. So there would have been a little house roof over this, whatever you want to call it. And then it would have a bucket so you could wind it up. Before I go, I wanted to ask y'all if you think I should come back and lower my camera down into this well to see what we can see. We'll have flashlights mounted on it. It'll go underwater, submerged, and maybe we'll be able to eyeball more stuff than the magnet could pick up. So if that's something you'd be interested in watching, like this video, and if I can get over 2,000 likes, I'll come back out here and lower my cameras down into the well. Y'all better do it soon though, because this place is gonna be gone in probably a week. So I figured I'd come back out here again when it's daylight. And you can see on this side of the house, there is square nails. So this place is at least 120 years old, maybe older. We'll have a better look inside today since it's not dark out. A lot of poison oak and ivy. I don't like that. Let's see if we can walk through without getting hit by that. All right. 
No bees up there, are there? We wouldn't want to come in on a beehive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Dresser. They always say there's money in the couch, but I don't think I'm going to be looking around in there for that. Old place. It's seen better days. Once this place gets tore down, you'll be able to detect under it and probably find some coins and marbles. Big old wide boards. Wow, what a place. It's surprising how quiet this place is of non-ferrous targets. You actually would think there would be stuff everywhere. And I haven't found a marble yet, so very shocking you can see over there what they do they dig out the dirt four or five feet deep and just get rid of all the topsoil and the relics and artifacts they don't care about that and then they'll dig all this up they'll cut this tree down they'll tear the house down and they'll build apartments right here it's pretty sad that's a loud hit sounds like something big and brass might even be a can Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's brass, all right. That's pretty cool. Some type of pipe thingy off something. Maybe it, it could have been a barrel tap at one time. We're just missing a little piece of it. You turn this and the drink would come out. Or maybe a valve or something. That's old, though. At one time, this place had some power. But somebody shot it, didn't they? <laughs> the fact that it's standing up on rocks tells you it's been here a long time. There's some of the beams that look hand-carved. Square nails right there. That's old. They don't make them like this anymore. Screw top bottle. Yeah, all of them are square nails, cut nails, so a little later, about 1910, if I had to guess. Oh, what's in this room? We didn't look in here, did we? No. Wow. Another chair, a little dresser here. Might be something in that. Let's take a look. Quick peek, and we'll know if it's worth investigating further. Looks like there was a bird in there. I see some feathers. I don't know if you could stand in this. Wow. No drawers in them though. There's a bottle. Let's see if we can get this bottle. That's actually kind of cool. Not very old, but it is a little bottle. Maybe 50s. Many careers on the ground or in the air. Hollywood or Chicago. No extra charge. It's old newspaper. Let's see how old. They would easily line the walls with these back in the day for insulation. I'm trying to see if I can see like a town or a date. This is 1948. Right there. I'd say it's about right. What is this? Let's see how much this was here. For proper posture, only $3.98. So something they were selling there. That had to be a long time ago. Look at this. It's a woman's dress or something. $2.98. Wow. That was a long time ago. <laughs> There's $5.98 value for it. They were selling it to you for $2.98. That was a bargain. Only $0.10, y'all. Pays in full. First month's premium. Some type of insurance or something wow that's pretty awesome fat legs try this new amazing scientific home method to reduce ankles calves thighs knees hips for slenderized legs <laughs> that's funny this has got to be like 1950s yep 1958 1950s advertisement wow that's crazy well, let's see what else is down here. 
I don't want to dig too much. Probably chiggers. Where's my light? There we go. There's some more. Probably 1950s. They were still living out here then. Them newspapers are pretty amazing. Just goes to show you. Three or four dollars back then would have bought you something. Whole set of clothes. Nowadays, it will barely buy you a drink and a candy bar at the gas station. Unreal. Inflation is through the roof, y'all. Piece of iron right there, but a good signal right here. Several targets in one hole. An iron ring off something. And right here we have... Well, I thought it was a lipstick case, but now it's not. It has a little wire coming out of it. Looks like a battery. Just got a signal over here to the side of the house. And that right there is some type of dog tag. Or maybe a rabies vaccination for them. And the date looks like 1952, so that would match the newspapers we found in the house. They're really active around this time. But there's definitely some older stuff here. It's just working through the trash and getting through the tree limbs and stuff that are laying on top of the ground. Sounds like a coin. Really shallow, too. Oh, when I see it, it's definitely something round. That's a coin. It's a penny. Looks small for a penny. 1964. That's modern. If that was a dime, that would have been silver. <laughs> so close, so far away. Let's keep hunting around here. Looks like there could be some good bottles. A lot of broken glass. I'm going to walk over that direction and see if we can find a bottle. Just walked probably about a quarter mile away from where I was hunting at. And I found a wheat penny here. Check this out. Another abandoned house. Now I searched this property maybe 13 or 14 years ago. It wasn't as grown up. Uh, since then it's been purchased. Now it's about to be developed. But if there's a wheat penny out here on this scrape where the bulldozer scraped through, there could be some more stuff I missed. Maybe a mercury dime or two. Oh, that's got to be another coin right there. There must have been a lot of trees and brush in this area. That's why it was missed. No. Not a coin. It's like a... Aluminum bottle cap or something. That's one large tree. Look at the root ball on that. Taller than me. Maybe it drops some silver for us. There's the moon. That's pretty cool. What a lovely night to be out. It's about 70 degrees. Cooling down. I'd say it's about 25 feet, 30 feet deep. It's crazy. You look nasty in the bottom too. Well, so this is the whale. Let's put the lid back on. Even though it's high enough to where nobody would fall in it just to be safe got my floodlight it's made for scuba diving but works really well on land too i just like to know that everything i have is waterproof because you never know when i'm gonna go through a swamp or something all right let's revisit this again pretty cool place i'll put a link in the description below for those of y'all that are interested in some of the gear I'm using. This place has been abandoned a long time because bullet holes all in it and stuff. That whale's over there. So I'll give y'all an idea of the place I'm hunting. I'm gonna search around the house here. You'd think there'd be silver. I got a good signal right here by the house. Sounds pretty big actually, but it's still a good, good hit. It could be a coin. This dirt's so sandy, stuff sounds really good. But I'd say it's something a little bigger, it's like a makeup compact or something brass, but I'll be happy with anything really, so let's see what we got. Right there. I think I felt something, y'all. Come on, be a relic. Oh, it's out the hole and it's screaming. <laughs> No wonder, a piece of a pocket watch. Well, it's a relic though. Let's keep going. 
that's a really good signal right there 80 right there oh I think we got a coin y'all no way it's a wheat penny way out here wow 1951 D is what it looks like let's get the silver until next time y'all have a good one god bless stay safe out there and happy hunting <laughs>